<laughs> okay, am I live? Am I live? Okay. I'm going to tell y'all why I quit the natural hair community, okay? Um, y'all see that I'm still natural and things like that. Um, but I quit the natural hair community because, for one, when I go outside, like, I'm the only <laughs> one wearing my natural hair out unless I see somebody with dreads. Okay, and then I'm like, where is all these people that saying they're going natural and letting their hair go out? Um, and then two, it's like, um, when I fix my hair or I do my hair in twists, you know, two hours later, people are like, oh, how are you going to wear your hair today? And I'm like, I just did my hair for two hours. I'm not redoing my hair. And so um, it's like, I would be on YouTube and stuff, and it's like people will put so much product and stuff on their hair and make it so shiny and so um, bouncy and so um, curly and stuff like that. And it's like, my hair does none of that stuff, okay? It'll go into the little twist and that's it, okay? Um, anyways, I don't want to make it too, make this video too long because um, this is my day off. But, you know, finally I got my natural hair to collarbone length. Or it might be a little bit past collarbone because you see my collarbone right there. And then, so like one inch past collarbone. And so I've been natural for three years now. This is the, t after I did a big chop like three years ago. It was in July, I remember. And then, um, or no, I don't know. I'm not going to go back to all of that. I want to say it was in 2019 that I cut all my hair off and I did the big chop. Okay, um. Another reason why I quit the natural community is because um, I started to see so much controversy. Okay, when I first started being natural, I only saw like a couple of videos and it was about like, you know, the type of hair you got. Okay, I'm like, okay, I'm with it. I'm with it. What type of hair do I have? 4C. Okay, good, good, good. So there's no products out there for 4C hair. Okay, um, I have tried almost all these ones I see on YouTube. You know, I've watched almost all the videos. I've um, used almost all the products, okay? The new and the old ones. You know, Care Care and all the different... Ooh, I don't want to give no names like that. But I've used a lot of the products. Excuse me, I'm sorry. I don't want to put anybody's products down, up, down, whatever. Okay. And so, let me move my phone up. Because when my phone is down, I look like um, my eyes are chinky. And I don't like that. So, um... I don't want y'all to think I'm doing a little puff puff or something like that and get the wrong idea. Okay, so anyways, I just bought this brand new lovely outfit. Oh, it's so beautiful. I don't want to show too much because, you know, um, I don't want to get any stalkers. But anyways, um, so yeah, I had to stop um, supporting the natural hair community. You know, as far as wearing my hair out. So it's like, um, you know, I see so many people doing the natural hair thing on the YouTube videos. But then when you see them in person, they got a wig covering it. Or they got um, some hair piece covering it or something like that. And I'm like, hold on. So y'all want me to get out here and wear my natural hair out and, you know, be all bold and beautiful and stuff. And then meanwhile, y'all have y'all wigs and weaves on and still... And just have it un in a protective cell under it. And I'm like, oh, man, I got played. But um, anyways, uh, this is like my fifth time going natural. Okay. Because it's very hard to stay natural. I'm telling you. Um, I had three children. And um, it's just, it's hard. Because how do you find time to do your hair when you are natural? It's very hard. Um. I don't know if y'all remember when my hair was really short and it was like maybe one inch right here. I took some pictures, but I don't know if I did any videos because I was so embarrassed. I had it hidden under my um my hair toboggan. Like, um, I wasn't even wearing wigs. I just wore um toboggans all the time. And I thought that was acceptable because I'm like, I'm not about to show my natural hair, not when I don't see anybody outside with it. When I say anybody, anybody. And it could be because I live in a predominantly Caucasian neighborhood. Um, we have uh, maybe two or three African-American people, including me. Let me start. 
That's what it seems like. I don't know. I don't. It comes outside, but I see walking when I go walking, and stuff like that. Um, and then um, also I we have a, um, I want to say some Indian people in our neighborhood too. I mean, I'm not um, profiling people like hmm, I don't see anybody that looks like me. I don't do stuff like that. But um, sometimes I do wonder, like, okay, am I the only one representing the kinky hair community? And you know. When I look around, I'm like, yeah, I am. Anyways, and then um, I got a comment from my youngest daughter. And she was saying, you know, mommy, I want to get my hair straightened. And I was like, okay. Um, hmm. I have let her be natural like her whole life. And she is two inches from being waist length. Um, and we have worked very hard very hard on getting her hair to grow that long same thing with my oldest daughter um we had grew her hair out so much it's to the middle of her back now and then we took her to the salon and the lady you know uh trimmed her ends that's what she said dusted them lightly and she took off two inches of hair growth and i was like what, what do they say now this is the new um saying I want to say bruh bruh or whatever it's not really bruh but she wasn't a bruh she was like just snip 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 I was like oh my gosh I already know my oldest daughter gonna be so upset and she was mm -hmm. she just wanted her hair to be straightened but if for it to look very you know kept and neat when it was straightened in I, th I thought to myself no more straightening my girl's hair because when I go to get it professionally done that's another reason why I have to give up. No, I don't want to say give up on being natural. I don't want to give up on being natural. I want to give up on the natural community because where is my support at, okay? I don't see no support unless I go online, okay? In person, I'm like, am I the only one that is natural unless I see dreadlocks? And I'm just like, okay, I don't even know if dreadlocks would even suit me because sometimes... Um, when it comes to, uh, keeping my hair sometimes, I don't know, or changing my hair, I might want to change it to a different style. So I'm not really picky when it comes to dreads because I wouldn't mind getting dreads, but I don't even have enough support in the natural community to go to the dread community, which probably even gets even less support. I'm just going to be honest. Okay. You know. Because it is a lot when you have to go at it by yourself. And people do not understand like the emotional and the process of going natural. How much it does or it affects your psyche. Okay. So you might be in a good, happy mood or something like that. And somebody walks up to you and like, oh, um, what's that? What's that hairstyle? Or your hair is kind of short. And you're like, um, no, it just shrinks up like this. But um, it's actually, you know, down here to my collarbone. You know, if I straighten it. And they're like, oh, okay. Yeah, you should probably just straighten it. And you're like, mm, no comment. You know, because one day maybe you might straighten it. You know, or maybe I might straighten it. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Because um, I have thought about it. You know, like, oh, maybe I should just go ahead and straighten my hair. Because, you know, not that you walk around wanting attention. But, you know, you want some type of validation like, hey, natural hair looks nice. It looks kept. It looks neat. You know, um, you know, let me try that hairstyle. And then it's like, I don't really have it in a hairstyle. It's just a whole bunch of um, baby box braids and they're the twist. And then when the twists get old, I put them back in box braids. So I alternate it. You know, I was like, okay, um, one day I'll have it in twist. Wait a couple of days. Then I'll put it in box braids, wait a couple of days, and I alternate it. And so I really, you know, get the length that I'm trying to get because I'm going for the um, waist length challenge. And I know that's a tough one, you know, especially for me because I've never been past my shoulders. Like now I'm finally, you know, let me just show y'all some, some proof. I'm finally a collarbone length. You see my collar right there, collarbone. And then, you know, that's not even the longest um hair strand because I was looking at it earlier and I'm like how did my hair get this long like just out of nowhere it just started um just like see so it's a little bit past uh collarbone 
you know, so probably if I straighten it, y'all will probably be able to see, you know, I've come a long way, okay? Because I used to cut my hair every time it got at least to my shoulders. But now I'm like, okay, it's past my shoulders. I have a collarbone length, the longest it's ever been. The same thing when it goes to my nails, because I stopped making the nails videos because, like, I wasn't getting a lot of support from the nail community either. I was just like, am I going to get some support? I mean, is, is the internet that taken? Um, anyways, um, but I'll show y'all my nails a little bit. And, um, so they're like an inch long, an inch long now, inch. Y'all know I'm from the country. And so, um, like an inch long now. And I broke my middle finger, middle fingers up, tell them boy bye. Let me stop. But, um, I, um, broke that one off cause I was slamming down the, um, what was I slamming down that day? The trunk of the car. Yeah, sorry. I was so upset because it took me a good three months to grow my nails out this long. And I was like, it's going to take me three months to get that one back to be as long as the other ones. And then the other ones hopefully won't break off. Because I was playing with baby boy the other day and he jumped down really um, hard on my um, pinky nail. And I was like, oh, no, I'm about to cry. But I didn't because it didn't break. But then my other hand, okay, y'all can see the nails on this side too. Just a quick update. And I need to go ahead and do a nail video because this is supposed to be about hair. But anyways, um, so yeah, the natural hair community is, you know, um, it's getting better. Because when I first started, YouTube was back when YouTube was just coming out, okay? And I was going natural with everybody else from then, and those same people probably got a hair that's wasteland. But I kept cutting mine and cutting mine and cutting mine, making videos, straightening my hair, um, wearing wigs, and doing all this crazy stuff. And now I was like, okay, I'm about to get real serious about this natural movement. And I'm about to grow my hair to waist length. And then from waist length, I'm going to grow it to the floor. Because I want my hair to grow out really long. And then I'm going to show y'all the final results one day i don't want to say final results because i want to keep growing my hair and growing my hair and growing my hair i want it to be very long and i want it to be i hate to show y'all this because i got my pimple from eating all that um popcorn the other day but um yeah so natural hair looks dusty i'm gonna tell y'all look at that it looks very dusty okay and then um Say you have a professional job and everybody comes in with straight hair and you're just like coming in with your nice little um, twist slash looking like dreadlocks and they're just like, oh, okay, I really like your hair. What are you doing with it? And you're just like, yeah, I'm just growing it out. I'm like, yeah. yeah so um, you don't want to be smart and just tell them all about your culture, you know, and all this kind of crazy stuff don't make any sense to them. It's just like, oh, well, um, the natural hair community is doing twists right now or the twist challenge or the waistling challenge. And it's like, who is the, ma the natural hair community? And I'm like, okay, just a whole bunch of people that are together on internet talking about natural hair, which has um, kind of just morphed and changed into um, using a whole bunch of products. And I have too many products, y'all. I mean, I would show y'all. That's for another video. Stay tuned. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe.